Hey guys, Chris Mingay from Revo Group. I'm out in the field in country New South Wales uh, doing a pipeline to help a customer out with EMAT. There's a pipe there. There's about eight kilometres of it. A uh, bit of a tricky one. It's got a slurry of fly ash and water and when they turn it off it settles and forms a hard uh, crust inside um, and is extremely attenuative especially with the water and the low lying sections the water stays in the pipe um, and partially fills it and we've had a lot of trouble with sound attenuation so I'll flip the camera so we've got the um, the Volta down there connected to the PMX magnets in pitch catch with 520 coils and uh, we're doing an MRUT A axial inspection on this pipe looking for corrosion or erosion and the customers had a lot of problems with the pipe eroding or corroding through and causing leaks and big fines with the EPA so usually I'd have a strip chart but it's extremely difficult to follow with this one because of the very erratic uh, nature of the pipe with the attenuation. So what I've done here is the short path between here and here is through the green gate and it's an ugly signal there because it's way off the screen at about 100 and, oh, 120, 130 percent screen height and it's kind of inverted the spike so if I come down to say 8 dB, no, even lower, I'll try 4, then we get a more conventional spike there, so even lower than that, we should see the spike look fairly normal, there we go. Now the pipe is so attenuative with all the scale and, and, and crust on the bottom of the pipe and the water in the pipe that the long path is extremely hard to see. So as I'm not really expecting any defects in the short path, I'm going to blow the short path right off the screen and give it 15 dB. And now the short path spike kind of flips upside down and puts a dent in itself. If I see that short path go back to a normal spike, I know that there's going to be some attenuation. I'm going to watch that carefully. But so far, after hundreds of meters of scanning, it hasn't changed. But the long path now, in a really good area, I'll get 100% screen height. So the customer has stated that anything more than 80% screen height drop, they're concerned about, and they'll investigate further with phased array. So I've set my gate at 20% screen height, and if I roll along here, we lose sound right about there. We lose 100% of screen height so I've marked that section there and then we'll come uh, the, the, the uh, other NDT techs will come along with phased array and they'll investigate that entire circumference knowing that it's probably going to be at the bottom of the pipe and he's up there I don't know if we can zoom in but he's following up with phased array on everything that I'm marking and we've got another 80% screen drop there. I'll come back to that and show you that. So as we roll over that area there, we lose all, nearly all the sound in the long path. So there's some, definitely some defects there. Now, yesterday we found some 100% screen height drops and with phased array, we worked out that the pipe has gone from eight mil wall thickness the original wall thickness down to two millimeters so it's picking up defects very well and i'm going to keep going hope that's of interest to you guys so yeah slightly different screen display i've put it in portrait mode so i can see the spike drop uh, more dramatically when i go in uh, landscape my drop it, my, my, my spike is shorter and fatter it's just a little more difficult to see it's much nicer in in portrait uh, I've saved this inspection so each day I just bring it up bring the same setup up again and carry on that's about it cheers guys